Hi, welcome to Mondays in the Psalter. I'm Pastor Vandercook. Today we look at, take a look at Psalm 119, verses 137 through 144, under the Hebrew letter Tzade. Righteous are you, O Lord, and right are your just decrees. You have appointed your testimonies in righteousness and in all faithfulness. My zeal consumes me because my foes forget your words. Your promise is well tried, and your servant loves it. I am small and despised, yet I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is righteous forever, and your law is true. Trouble and anguish have found me out, but your commandments are my delight. Your testimonies are righteous forever. Give me understanding that I may live. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sometimes living in this world as a Christian is not only unpopular, but it can also be uncomfortable for us, and that is that the world makes it uncomfortable for us because uh, either we are, I don't really want to use the word persecuted, but uh, life is made more difficult on us uh, as perhaps by uh, those who are not Christians uh, will, or at least hold a non-Christian position on various things, will hold us in contempt. Uh, they'll treat us shamefully. They, they won't be kind to us. And so we look at this section of this psalm here, and the first thing the psalmist acknowledges is that the Lord is righteous and his decrees are right. So first and foremost, we look at what the Lord commands, and we know that what the Lord commands is right, and we know that it's good. And we acknowledge that as we pray this psalm. Um, and then you get to the part where, how is it that we interact with people that do not hold the Lord's commandments in the same regard? And the psalmist here writes that, My zeal consumes me because my foes forget your words. My zeal consumes me. Zeal is this extreme, it's, it's this passion that we have that uh, we believe God's word is true, and therefore we want to do what God's word tells us to do. But when we see people in the world that not only don't do what God's word says, but they seem to forget it altogether, it upsets us. And it ought to upset us that the world holds uh, God's word in such disregard. And so the psalmist here expresses that frustration. Zeal consumes me because not only do people not listen to your word, it's that they forget it exists altogether. Your promise is well tried and your servant loves it. In other words, the things that God has done are well tried. They're refined. God's word is refined. It's, uh, you know, the, the, the word there is kind of the idea is behind um, how we take, uh, how silver is purified. Uh, the dross is taken out. God's word is that way. It's so pure. It's so good. Uh, the Lord's promise is there. And so uh, your servant, we as God's servants, we love the word of God. I am small and despised, yet I do not forget your precepts. No doubt you feel very small and despised at times uh, for holding firmly into the word of God and to, into his commandments. And it can make you feel small. But yet we still want to not forget the Lord's precepts. And we don't forget the Lord's precepts. You get to verse 143 here. Trouble and anguish have found me out. That's indeed kind of the result sometimes of, of looking at the Lord's commandments, of looking at his word, and living our lives as God's people, is that trouble and anguish find us. And that doesn't seem like it should be right. It seems like uh, as one who is faithful to the word of God, perhaps, that we ought to uh, instead experience the good things in life. But that's just the opposite tends to happen. Trouble and anguish have found us, but in spite of that, we pray along with the psalmist here that the Lord's commandments are our delight. We continue to live as God's people because of the promise we have in Christ Jesus. Uh, the Lord has promised us that Satan, uh, the devil, the world, uh, the devil and the world have been defeated. Satan's head has been crushed at the cross, and therefore we have no reason to fear what's going to happen in the end. Your testimonies are righteous forever. God's testimonies, God's word is righteous forever. So while the world 
uh, may try and deceive us, mislead us away from God's word, even oppose us because of our adherence to the word of God, we have that everlasting promise that God's word is true and that Christ has indeed come to be our Savior and that on the last day uh, we have nothing to fear. For our fate is sealed. It's sealed in our baptism and given to us. Uh, the, the gifts of the cross are given to us in word and sacrament, uh, and we are continually reminded that though this world may oppose us, uh, we have nothing to fear in this world, for Christ has overcome this world. God bless you this week. We'll see you next week on Mondays in the Psalter.